Tigers have stripes, leopards have spots, lions don't have any particular sort of pattern at all. But there's a much deeper mathematical principle behind those patterns, and that is the idea of symmetry. They're called Turing equations or reaction diffusion equations. You can solve reaction diffusion equations for a more realistic shape of animal. On the mouth, in the mouth of a mouse, on the roof of the mouth, are patterns of indentations. And the bones in a chicken's wing are formed the same way. Doctors now have machines that can take pictures of the inside of the human body. And they can do it without cutting you open, without going inside, with cunning mathematical trickery. We all know that heat flows because if you put a pan on a hot plate, so although you're heating up the pan, the heat flows into the hand. And Fourier wrote down an equation for how heat flows. And you can use this trick for all sorts of other purposes. But nature is not an engineer. These patterns evolved, and they evolved using basic mathematical structures. So, the cosmos has regularities, it also has chaos, it's deterministic but it can still be unpredictable, and all of these things are useful for satellites, space probes and all of the technology we have now. I'm Ian Stewart.